What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tricity. We back at it again. All right, so today I got y'all in an updated Antelope Audio Zingo tutorial. Um, I'm going to try to speed through a couple of things because I have covered this before. Um, so when you guys get your um, control panel open, this is what you will normally see. You have two preamps, and then you'll see um, your mixer channels here. You can change this between 8 and 16. This isn't so important right now, so I'm going to kind of skip that. Um, so the difference that you guys may see is that your computer play one and two may be here and three and four may be here. I changed it because I'm going to use three and four as a hardware insert inside of Pro Tools. And I'm going to show you guys how to print the effect, because if you do a regular bounce, it will not save. You have to make um a stereo audio track and print the song. All right. Now, the way you change it is just click up here, go to computer play one, two, um, or put three and four, how, whichever channels you want to move around. Um, and you have up until eight that you can do that with. All right. Next, um, I'm going to go over your pre's. You have mic line, high Z, um, depending on if you're lining in or you're doing guitar. All right. But I'm just, I have mine on mic. Then up here, um, I'm going to change this to MU mic because I have the Antelope Audio Edge Solo. All right, MU mic one. Then I'm going to click this icon, the microphone on it, and then I'm going to go to my Edge Solo, and I'm going to change the model to the 800T. Um, I like how this model sounds. All right, and then if you go here, you can actually. Um, pull up your plugins. So I have quite a few plugins here. I don't have all of them, but I have a lot that I bought. All right. So you have modulation, special processing. You have your vintage EQs. Just missing a couple of those. Have your compressors. I just need two more. I have all the preamps. Um, then you have your guitar amp. You have guitar cabinets. All right. Cool. But me, I personally have a preset that I made. I'm going to load it up and show you guys what it is. So I'm going to click here, hit browse. I'm going to go to my vocal saucy. And I'm going to load it up. All right. So I got a little loud. Let me turn my interface down. I'm going to bypass this. Okay. Bypass the auto tune. All right. So the way my chain starts is I have the BAE. BAE 1073, sorry the audio cut a little bit. Um, and then that is my preamp going into my tube child 670 compressor. Um, this is the way that I have it set. Um, so don't worry about the settings, guys. I am going to give you this for free. And then we have the VEQ 4K black, like the SSL. Now, what I'm doing here is just a roll off. I would it doesn't show you like the number, so I'm I'm guessing maybe like. 100 or 110 all right and other than that what i'm doing here is around somewhere around 200 range i'm cutting about 3 db um of this tone out because this is what sounds real boxy you hear that it sounds real boxy to me so i'll cut that out and the vocal sounds a little bit more open all right and i'll cut a little bit more so i like how this sounds all right then from there i have my auto tune and I know today the beat that I have is an E. So I'm going to put that in E. Um, and you basically use it the same way that you would um, regular in your DAW, except understand that these effects are going to get printed on to your vocal. This is all happening before Pro Tools. Um, I also have this noise gate here just to help cut out a little bit of the background. Um, just makes your job easier when you go to mixing your vocals. All right. So this is my chain. Again, I'm going to give this to you guys. All right. The next thing that we need to look at is you have your digital outputs, your spit offs. I don't really use these, so let's, we're not going to worry about that. Then you have your DAW IOs. Now, I need you guys to pay attention to these. So you have one, two, uh, record one and two, three and four, and then five and six. Now, right here on five and six, remember, this is my computer play one and two. And the reason you guys are able to hear all my audio today is because you have the ability to do loop back. So I'm doing loop back one and two under five and six because when you do loop back, it feeds all the signal going into your interface 
out to whatever software you're using, whether it's to shoot videos or for streaming. Um, so that's another benefit of this audio interface. Now, now we're kind of done. Um, the only thing left to talk about, um, you have like two different headphone slots that you can use. Um, so you have one and two. All right. Now we're going to jump into Pro Tools. All right. Now, I just have a noise gate on my vocal bus just to help. Okay. So when you look in here, you, you see there's no plugins really besides reverb and delay in a noise gate. And I have this FET 76 on my submix just because I wanted to hear everything louder. Um, and the way I'm using it, I'm using it more of a limiter and not a compressor that much. So I have it on the fastest release and the slowest attack, the slowest attack being right here and the fastest being over here. And then I just have the output turned all the way up and I have my input turned a little bit down because I don't really want the vocal to get smashed. All right. Cool. So that's that. And then we have our reverb and delay, just deverb, H delay. All right. <laughs> you know this yeah. priority. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Count up all the time, put it all on the line. Time, put it all on the line. I get that online extension, I can barely read the time. Got my white shining belly, I can really read the time. Daddy shining belly, oh, yeah. Count up all the time, put it all on the line. Got a body on my head. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Count up all the time, put it all on the line. Got that patty shining brightly, I can barely read the time. Time, put it all on the line. Got that patty shining brightly, I can barely read the time. They try to move on, I had on the zone, it on the low way. It all on the line. Got that patty shining brightly, I can barely read the time. No shortcut on my high on up all the time. Put it all on the line. Got that patty shining brightly, I can barely read the time. Had to take the long way, I did it my own way. Up all the time, put it all on the line. Got that patty shining brightly, I can barely read the time. Had to take the long way, did it on my own way. I did it my own way. Okay. Count up all the time, put it all on the line. Got that patty shining brightly, I can barely read the time. Had to take the long way, I did it my own way. Barely read the time. Had to take the long way, I did it my own way. Swerving in that Billy Coop, working on my road rage. This is a priority. Count up all the time, put it all on the line. Got that patty shining brightly, I can barely read the time. Had to take the long way, I did it my own way. Swerving in that Billy Coop, working on my road race. Yeah, I jumped out of porch, ain't nobody give me nothing. Yeah. Pull up in a Porsche, racks on me, know how I'm coming. I put in the work, ain't nobody give me nothing. Everybody looking at me like I own something. How you think I owe you something? You ain't never give me nothing. How you think I owe you something? You ain't never give me nothing. All right, cool. So we basically. We got that, so I'm gonna cut the end of this beat here. All right, so now we'll turn my. Send us to turn this off for a second. I'm gonna turn the reverb off for a second. All right, now we're gonna come to the vocal bus right and i'm gonna go insert 
right here, IO. I'm gonna do three and four. Okay. And let's go here. I'm gonna turn my auto tune off. Okay, so now that I'm done recording, what I'm gonna do here is use three and four as a hardware insert. So let's say I'm gonna start off with some EQ for my vocal. I'm gonna do, let's see, 4K pink. All right, so now you're going to see everything I do to this vocal show up. Everything I do to my EQ show up on the vocal. So let's just go ahead and loop this section. Count up all the time, put it all on the line. Got that patty shining brightly, I can barely read the time. Had to take the long way, I did it my own way. Swerving in that Billy Coop, working on my road race. Yeah, I jumped out of porch, ain't nobody give me nothing. Yeah, pull up in a porch, racks on me, know how I'm coming. I put in the work, ain't nobody give me nothing. Everybody looking at me like I own something. How you think I owe you something? You ain't never give me nothing. How you think I owe you something? You ain't never give me nothing. Count up all the time, put it all on the line. Got that patty shining brightly, I can barely read the time. Had to take the long way, I did it my own way. Swerving in that Billy Coop, working on my road race. Yeah. I jumped out of porch, ain't nobody give me nothing. Yeah. Pull up in a porch, racks on me, know how I'm coming. I put in the work, ain't nobody give me nothing. Everybody looking at me like I own something. How you think I owe you something? You ain't never give me nothing. So I like how that sounds, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna print the song, okay? So the way we're gonna do that is come up here to go to track, go to new, and we're gonna make a stereo audio track. And what we're gonna do is rename this print mix. Okay, now I'm gonna make this pink. The reason we're doing this is because the vocals are being affected by a hardware insert. So if I do a regular bounce, 
whatever I did on this vocal will not save, and you'll hear the raw vocal. Um, so what we're gonna do is take this print mix, and we're gonna put this on interface five and six. And the reason we're gonna do that, I'm gonna go back here and show you guys. So look, we got one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And then if you go to the DAW IO, you see your five and six right here. This is all the sound that's going through the interface. Um, and then we go back here. So again, five and six has all the sound. Now, I'm gonna, what I need to do is I'm gonna put, mute this, hold the I in the record, and then I'm just going to record the song. <laughs> You know this is a priority. All right, so now that's done. So what I'm gonna do is mute all of this. I'm gonna mute that. And let's go. We're gonna turn this off. All right, so now all of the sound is muted. If I hit play, you're just going to hear what's down here. <laughs> you know this is a priority. Count up all the time, put it all on the line. Got that patty shining brightly, I can barely read the time. Had to take the long way, I did it my own way. Swerving in that Billy Coop, working on my road. Porch, ain't nobody give me nothing yet. Yeah. Pull up in a Porsche, racks on me, know how I'm coming. I put in the work, ain't nobody give me nothing. Everybody looking at me like I owe them something. How you think I owe you something? You ain't never give me nothing. How you think I owe you something? You ain't never give me nothing. All right, so now that is finished. And this how you use the Zengo. It's kind of a little bit fuller to its fuller capabilities. And now if you look, look how the song sounds. There is no plugins on my vocal bus except the noise gate. And I have a hardware insert. So the processing isn't happening on my computer. Um, It's happening inside of the interface right here. So all of this is what's happening on the vocals. Um, so I hope you guys learned something. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, and everything will be free. I'm out.